Genesis 41, 14 through 16 says, And then Pharaoh sent and called for Joseph, and they hurriedly brought him out of the dungeon. And when he had shaved himself and changed his clothes, he came to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I had a dream, but no one could interpret it. And I have heard all, said all about you. When you hear a dream, you can interpret it. Joseph then answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God will give Pharaoh a favorable answer. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Genesis 41, 14 through 49, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, there's an old children's song called Children of the Lord, or the Arky Arky Song. The refrain goes like this, rise, shine, give God the glory, glory, rise, shine, give God the glory, glory, rise, shine, give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Now, I'd never heard the full song until I started this devotion. I only knew the chorus, but it really is quite interesting. Pharaoh discovered that Joseph could interpret a dream, and when Joseph was presented to Pharaoh, he did not tell him that he himself had the power. He told Pharaoh that he did not have the power, and there was a God who could interpret that dream. Now, this put Joseph at a great risk, and it also put God at greater risk. If Joseph could not interpret the dream through the power of God, then he would be thrown back in prison, and the name of God could be drugged through the mud. But Joseph put the interpretation of the dream flatly in God's lap. He did not hesitate to give God the glory, even though he could have meant that after he had interpreted the dream, he could go back to jail. He would no longer be needed. We tend to be very quick to take credit for what we do. In my case, it's sometimes very easy to accept the adulation of some of the people in the classes that I teach. I can become very puffed up because they generally like the class and they generally like how I teach and they generally like me. But it's not me who is teaching them. It is only God that teaches change. It can only be God who affects their lives. And therefore, what I say and do is only a small part of what God says and does. Now, how we present ourselves to the world around us. Do we present ourselves in being charged? Do we present ourselves as the one who knows what's going on? Or do we present ourselves as mere tools in God's hands? 